just roll them off the back of the floor. Oh, okay. And that will give us that cute little thing. There's no wrong time to learn how to make good yummy. No. Rhonda Gian Greco is a celebrated author, speaker, and fabulous cook who has a great sense of humor. Sometimes I'm an, an amazing cook. Sometimes I just pour a lot of wine. <laughs> Rhonda never thought she'd write a book or make television appearances to share her story. So, woke up the next morning. Until doctors diagnosed her with multiple sclerosis in 2008. When I was told that there was a possibility I might not be walking for much longer, my biggest fear was that that I wasn't going to be able to cook anymore. This is my happy place. You're actually in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen, yeah, giving you advice. My husband's mother died of this disease when he was only 16 years old. MS in particular has had a significant impact in my life by virtue of my mom passing with that disease. Rhonda took her cue from Michael's mom. She coped with her challenge by making large family dinners every Sunday. They would eat gnocchi and they would drink wine and they would yell at each other in Italian. And Hi, welcome! <laughs> I told him I am going to do a big Italian meal every Sunday for as many people as we can get around the table for an entire year. He thought I was nuts. And <laughs> Here, this is what you do best. <laughs> Excellent. I can drink. He said, oh, this year we're going to invest in friendship. And it was the best investment we ever made. And I cooked over 400 plates of food and a mountain of these little gnocchis. <laughs> <laughs> and you have some other things on the menu here. Yes. I love this. This is great. Oh, well, I did this every time for the gathering table dinners, so I'd remember what I was cooking. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you put it on your wall, you don't forget. <laughs> yes. So we're having a fig and goat cheese pizza with figs from my neighbor's tree. Manja, manja. Uh, and an arugula salad with candied pecans, and then the gnocchi that you and I are making. Despite her physical challenges, Rhonda set herself a monumental task of planning and cooking every Sunday for a full year inviting family, friends, and yes, even strangers. And I have invited a woman I met in line at the grocery store. I think she thought Amway was gonna be involved, but she came anyway. Oh, la la! Oh, we don't have any spoon to eat with. <laughs> I actually created 52 dinner parties in a row every Sunday, battling multiple sclerosis. And how did you do it? Well, there were times when I had spent the morning in the hospital with a severe pain attack and had the whole room full of people coming for dinner in a couple of hours. So you didn't cancel? No, never once. She doesn't see the glass as half full. She sees it as miraculously overflowing. My wonderful, wonderful friends in the wine industry here have been tremendously generous in providing wine for our dinners. In fact, Kirk and Karen Reed, around this gathering table, own Reed Family Vineyards, close by in the Napa Valley. It's a very special vineyard with long rows of grapes that need to be stirred occasionally. A ton of grapes. Yeah. I don't know what's better, your wines or drinking your wines in a vineyard like this. Uh, <laughs> and, well, you're right. Uh, who you drink it with and where you drink it uh, affects the appreciation of the wine. What do yeah. you call this? We call it punching down. Punching down. Punching down. <laughs> punching down and working to crush MS with their annual fundraiser. Yeah, nice. everywhere. The Reeds have also been touched by multiple sclerosis in their own family. So the local wineries come together here in their vineyard once a year to crush MS. Not only are you looking inward, but you're looking outward. That's right. One person can do good things. A group of people can do great things. So we are in this together to support not only our son, but the 2.3 million people in the world who have MS. It's beautiful. You <laughs> made that one. You made that one. <laughs> the and taste we, test. On the line here. <laughs> Your whole career is running on this, Rhonda, so. <laughs> now to taste Rhonda's famous gnocchi. Mm. After I finished the 52 dinners, I wrote a book called The Gathering Table. And as an ambassador for the MS Society, Rhonda has traveled around the world to cook dinners, bring people together, and raise awareness for multiple sclerosis. Maybe the best year of my life, and it was supposed to be the worst. <laughs> I'm gonna stay for a couple of days. <laughs> be appreciative of what you have and don't focus on what you don't have. Living wholeheartedly in spite of your challenges can lead you to some fantastic places. Stella, come see us. Oh, here. <laughs> and a very happy life. She's a work in progress, really. <laughs>
She doesn't have an agent yet. When she gets an agent, she'll be very good. <laughs> to the gallery table! <laughs> I love you, honey. I love you. It's a beautiful journey. It is, isn't it? You had to kind of go along with it. <laughs>